Hey Pen Adventures, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. This is your glamorous Penny Pincher Shalomi and today I'm coming to you with my bedroom reveal. So if you want to see everything that I've done, you know exactly what to do. Just keep on watching. Before we dive into the video guys, I want to just take this moment to share this beautiful bench that I got from Home Mary. Look how absolutely gorgeous this bench is. Look at the details, the tufting, everything is absolutely gorgeous. The legs are black with gold metal sleeve foot caps and it goes perfectly with my bedroom decor. It is super sturdy guys and has very comfortable foam padding. Take a look at this fine velvet upholstery. Like I said again, I it's super gorgeous. I just love this bench and look how perfectly it sits right at the end of my bed. It came securely packaged, nothing moving around, nothing tumbling around, and assembling was a breeze, guys. All I had to do was attach the legs. It came with the screws and the little Allen wrench, and in 10 minutes, I was ready to go. Their website at homeary.com has a plethora of home decor, furniture, indoor pieces, outdoor pieces, bedroom, living room, kitchen, you name it, they have got it all on their website. And you know what guys, you know whatever I do, I have you in mind. So be sure to check the description box below. There is a link there to the Homeary site which will have a discount coupon in it especially for you make sure you check it out and take advantage of these beautiful beautiful items that homery has to offer guys now let's get into the nitty-gritty okay of this video here i am entering my bedroom this is its current state as you can see it's just you know basic i have all the things laid out that we need the bed the dresser um, the couch over there um, very little going on so today I want to take the opportunity to give it some updates and change it up a little bit add some more decor to it and give it a little bit of life to make it truly my space my first order of business is to vacuum the bed I'm vacuuming the headboard as well as the frame off the bed using my little hand vac. After vacuuming the bed, I am just going to go ahead and remove these pillows that are on it. Everything has been washed and refreshed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to straighten the mattress pad and then start working with adding the sheets and all the other items. The next thing that I'm doing guys is I'm adding the fitted sheet and this set of sheets that I'm adding I absolutely love them. Now I purchased these from a like a home decor warehouse in Toronto about two years ago and these sheets the quality is amazing and when you lay on it it just feels so smooth it almost feels like velvet but it's not it's kind of hard to explain but this um, is one of my favorite sheet sets that i currently own so i'm starting like i said with the fitted sheet just gonna straighten that get that on and then we're gonna add the flat sheet on top of that today we'll be doing a lot of layering so stay tuned I have added the flat sheet, but what I'm doing here is I'm doing what they call the hospital fold to make it like nicely tucked in. So what I'm doing here is I am just folding it on an angle, straightening it, make sure that everything is in place. And then I'm just going to tuck that little flap on the side under the mattress. And what that does is that makes it nice and comfy all tucked in and very very neat again this is what they call the hospital fold the next step here guys is i am adding my 
duvet cover to the bed that's the next layer after i've spent 40 days and 40 nights trying to get the comforter in i'm finally ready to go ahead and add it on one hack that i'll share with you concerning duvet covers and the um insert is that if you are struggling to put it on just put the comforter down and then lay the duvet cover on top of that that is a hack that i've tried before and it's worked beautifully. So if you're struggling, that's another option for you. After adding my duvet cover, guys, it was a little bit wrinkled because I just took it out of the package. So I'm just using my steamer here to get some of the wrinkles out. So moving right along, guys, here I'm adding a coverlet. And this is just another layer to help my bed feel and look a little bit more luxurious. Here I'm doing the very same thing to the coverlet as I did to the comforter and the bed sheet, which is to tuck the ends inside of the bed frame. This helps to give it that nice, clean, sleek hotel look and feel. Now I'm just going to take the coverlet and do a fold back. In some cases you can do a three layer fold, but in my case I'm just going to do two layers. So you just want to bring the coverlet all the way back as far as you desire for it to be. Make sure that it's nice, it's neat, all the wrinkles are out, and then you start to add as many folds as you can get into the coverlet. After adding the folds to the coverlet, I'm now adding my pillows to complete the look of the bed. Here you can see guys, I'm topping it up with some beautiful throw pillows. And you know what I always say, don't buy too many throw pillows. You're better off buying pillow covers. That way you're saving money and if you have a storage issue, then you don't have to worry about storing a lot of pillows but just by the pillow covers, you can fold them down, put them in a drawer, a closet, wherever, and you are good to go. Guys, now you can see me here bringing in my beautiful homery bench. Absolutely gorgeous. I already told you all about it at the top and I just love it. So here I'm adding it to the foot of my bed and we're gonna do some styling. So here I've just kinda held the throw at an angle and draped it over the bench and I'm adding some gathers in it guys. The more gathers it have, the more fluffy it looks, the more plush it looks, the more luxurious it looks. So that's what I'm doing. I'm working on it here till I get my desired look and then I will go ahead and add my beautiful gold tray on top of that. Then I'm going to add a beautiful floral arrangement and that is it. That is all I need for this beautiful bench. The next place I'm gonna add some decor to guys is to my chest of drawers or the high boy. How many of you guys call it a high boy? I haven't heard a high boy in a long time, but I know we call it that as well. So I'm adding this picture frame and I will show you later that these are the same frames that's above my bed. So I just brought it in on top of the chest of drawers and then I'm gonna go in with these beautiful, beautiful, did I say beautiful? These beautiful candle holders. They're a set of three and they are absolutely gorge. Guys, for everything that I'm adding to my room here, don't fret, I got you. Just go down in my description box and check out my Amazon storefront for a lot of the beautiful items that you're seeing in here today. Guys, we finally made it to the other side of the room. Let's decorate this couch. 
here you can see me with this uh, beautiful runner. It's like a faux fur runner. I have used it for so many different things. I've used it over my chair. I have used it during the um, winter months on my dining table as a runner. It is so versatile and I absolutely love it. And you will continue to see it around my home, okay? So I'm just adding that to the chair. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of color so here i'm using these beautiful mustard pillows you have seen these before i got these a couple years ago when i was in toronto from home sense it is a pair it kind of has like a lattice look in the front and they're absolutely gorgeous they're super soft and this is just a little bit of color that i'm adding to my decor because i have a lot of black and white and gold and gray going on so i'm bringing in a little bit of sunshine and then in the center i am just adding this uh faux fur pillow that kind of matches the throw right next to the sofa i'm adding this beautiful side table that's kind of like a nesting table except for they are attached then i'm going to add a little bit of a floral arrangement there that i've put together and on the bottom tier of the table I am adding um, a couple of coffee table books and then I'm going to sit my beautiful candle right on top of those books. Okay guys, after all of that hard work, here we are. We are at the end. Here is everything put together. Everything turned out absolutely beautifully. I couldn't be more happy with the space. So now we're taking a closer look at the coverlet, the beautiful folds that are in it, absolutely gorgeous. And let me take you in closer to look at the beautiful pillows. So, so beautiful. I just love the way all the colors run together. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. On my bedside table, I just have a few items. I have my beautiful lamb that I've had for many, many years. It has served me well and it continues to do a great job, so I'm keeping it. And right beside that, I have a frame of hubby and I. I added a little bit of greenery and my beautiful candle. And that is all I have on the side of my bed. And if we move over to hubby's side, we will see that he has something similar. He has the same frame with my picture in it, the same lamp, and I also added him some greenery on his side of the bed. Absolutely gorge. Then right next to hubby's bed and over in the corner, I've added back my plant. You guys remember Queen. Queen is from Toronto, honey, and she is showing out in these Georgia streets, okay? And right next to her is my beautiful anthropology mirror standing there in the corner i love it so much just love the fact that i can walk over to it when i'm dressed and check out my entire outfit and right next to that again guys is the sofa that we just decorated with these beautiful um, pillows absolutely gorge and the faux fur throw check it out isn't that gorgeous And here is my table again, guys, with the floral arrangements. If you notice, I've added a touch of yellow just to complement the pillows on the sofa. And again, my candle is now burning. It smells amazing in here. And this is just a nice little cozy space for me, guys, to sit, read my books, and just to, you know, relax a bit. 
these curtains also came with me from Toronto and as you can see guys I have the curtain tie backs which is the hack that I created a couple of years ago these are actually picture frames from the Dollar Tree and all you have to do is just take the glass out and for the holder I'm actually using straws these are the thick plastic straws and I've just spray painted them gold to match the frame because I had a hard time finding dowels I don't know why but they turned out absolutely beautiful also in its own little corner is this beautiful birds of paradise plant super gorge guys I have one in my living room and I now have one in my bedroom it's in this beautiful planter and it just ties everything in so well like I said, you know how much I love adding greenery to my space, whether they are real or faux. Okay guys, so now we're moving over to the dresser and it's pretty simple over there. There's a picture of hubby and I, uh, my TV's on there and three candle pillars that I picked up recently. I've used them before, so you should have seen them in a video of mine. I've added some candles to the top of it. And um, guys, my TV is going to be up on the wall at some point, but for now, it's just sitting on top of the dresser, and I'm fine with it for now. Here again guys are these beautiful candle holders and we talked about this picture before it is the same three pictures that are right above my bed I also have this beautiful wall art which is on the wall right next to the bathroom door it has kind of like a marble effect. It is absolutely gorgeous, and it goes oh so perfectly with all the decor in my bedroom. So guys, I've grabbed myself some tea. I'm gonna keep my feet up enjoy my tea sip on it slowly and watch a little bit of tv and enjoy my beautiful space okay guys this is all i have for you today thank you so much for joining me i truly do appreciate you checking out this video and i hope you like the tour leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts you know i always love to hear from you and guys, make sure you go check out the description box on all the information on Homery. We'll be there waiting for you. As well, check out my Amazon storefront. You will see a lot of the items there that you're looking at in this video. If this is your first time checking out my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate you clicking on this video and I would love for you to join the Penny Pincher family by hitting the subscribe button below and make sure guys that you hit that notification bell also that way you will never miss an upload and to all my lovely penny pinchers you know exactly how i feel love you love you love you love you until the next video this is your glamorous penny pincher shalomi saying bye bye penny